Hello all. My project is about water supply management system which helps you to check your payment and to pay your bills online. This project will give you a best solution for this COVID-19 situation because we can't make face-to-face -face communication now. Meet Miss Manali, who is always busy with her office works. Recently, Manali had a problem. Due to this COVID-19 situation, amidst a crowd of people, she was unable to pay her water supply bills. She can't go for ATM machines, can't stand on a long distance queue, and what she can do. Also, we can't have in-person meetings as well. She looks confused. And she decided to search all over the internet to get a best solution for her problem. And yes, she got an idea. Why can't we use an online website or an online app to make the payment? And finally, she found a website. Guys, do you want to take a look at it? Let's look into software architectures. When it comes to client server pattern, there will be a server and multiple clients. The server component will provide services to multiple client components. This system will work in such a way. The next one is interpreter pattern which is used for designing a component that interprets programs written in a dedicated language. Here, the language is PHP. Also, database query languages such as SQL is used. When it comes to languages, HTML, CSS, PHP and JavaScript are used. When we see the structure of the code, we have used PDO method in PHP. Also, we have used try and catch method. Try statement allows you to define a block of code that to be tested for errors while it is being executed. The catch statement allows you to define a block of code to be executed if an error occurs in the try block. Also, JavaScript event functions are used in the code. When it comes to web services, which provides connectivity and communication between devices and the internet for API based tasks. We have used this code in order to find the location. My system has two databases. One is CRUD. Inside CRUD, I have two tables, bill and contacts. Inside contacts, I have saved several details so we can view it in our interface. The interface will show the details like this. The next database is process. Inside process, I have three tables, feedback, petition and users. Functions.php and server.php are the backend of my project. Now, 
let's discuss about object orientation encapsulation it allows us to protect the data stored in a class from system wide access and fields are set to private the password which is taken from the users in order to log in is encrypted before serving it in the database for security reasons composition login and registration parts are combined with rest of the parts of the website without proper login and registration credentials you cannot access the rest of the part of my website also documentation and commenting are also done for ease of use the second one is event driven graphical user interfaces there are more than 11 interfaces together of admin and user side These are the JavaScript functionalities that is presented in the system which will give the users a visual treat. These are the codes for the above shown JavaScript functionalities. These are the button functionalities presented in the system. which will redirect the users while on click this is a rating system where customers can rate the services this is an example of external links provided and these are the alert messages which will be presented while using credentials to log in third one is virtual identity We have presented two different logins for users and for admin. Users will be uniquely identified using the username and the encrypted passwords. The feedback form and the petition system will work similar to an online chat system. Last one is interoperability. The system works very responsive and it is optimized for mobile as well. As you can see, it will fit for any platform use. Also, the system has many CSS based layout elements. We have many data collecting methods in our system such as registration form, feedback form and petition form. Data transmission and interconnection are also presented like this. This is an example of structural and semantic markup with HTML. I hope you all understood the functionalities and the facilities of my system. Thank you.